Dang it. Hi guys, how's it going? Blue here. Welcome to Cuba Rhythms. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Shang Shao 15 by 15. Now this is a very, very exciting unboxing because the biggest cube that I have that's bigger than this is the 17 by 17, but this is gonna take the cake in terms of my second biggest puzzle. Speed Cube Shop was kind enough to send this out to me, and if you guys use the discount code BLUE at Speed Cube Shop, you're gonna get some mad discounts, and also, you're gonna help support me, and that's kind of the main important part. So yeah. And we're opening, and we're opening, and inside is an almost equally sized box. Whoa. What in the world? Look at this, this is like a case for the cube this isn't just any ordinary box it's got this nice metal handle and this nice little hook to open and close that is epic whoa got this slanted cut a couple of stars and sang so shang shao okay the bottom has a bunch of asian writing and the top says sang so which is interesting probably a derivative of shang shao let's open this up oh that is so cool it's like a hinge it's like this nice case and then there's this nice styrofoam packaging we got a few extra screws and springs and core pieces in case anything is broken that is helpful and we got in here the 15 by 15 and that is small but it is also very heavy. This is a really cool box, and this is definitely not one I'm gonna throw away. I'm gonna hold on to this. Okay, so it comes in all this plastic wrap. Let's get it out. And down. Oh, that was loud and not very nice. So here we are. This is the 15 by 15. It is just ever so slightly greasy on the outside. Definitely not the worst Shang Shao has ever done. I am impressed. <laughs> God bless me. Now, before we get into first turns, I just want to emphasize that this is not very large because here is the 17 by 17. And this is large, okay? 17 by 17 is pretty ridiculous. This is just a 15 by 15, and you can see it's significantly smaller. So definitely a lot more friendly to solve, better to hold, in your hands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 by 15. The fact that we're getting all of these big mass produced puzzles is really awesome. I wish I could say that they were affordable and in the lower end, they are definitely getting there. There's some good 9 by 9s and 10 by 10s for affordable. This is $300 which is beyond overpriced for what it is, in my opinion. I mean, I haven't turned it, but I'm sure even if it had the best turning quality ever, it's still a puzzle. This is definitely one for really hardcore collectors like myself. Thumbs up if you're watching this video with no intention of actually purchasing the puzzle. You just want to see cool puzzles. That's definitely what I did for a majority of my cubing career before I became a YouTuber. Again, Speed Cube Shop was kind and generous enough to send this out to me. Use the discount code BLUE. Okay, here we go. Let's do some turns. Okay, okay. This is interesting. So I'm feeling that there is a pretty reasonable amount of friction. It feels very quiet, not a lot of bumpiness or scratchiness or anything like that. I wouldn't say it's necessarily very smooth. I do have to put a pretty good amount of force into turning this, but it's not catching at all, which is good. If it was catching, I would be disappointed. But it does feel a little bit like it needs to be broken in, which is to be expected because it's a very large puzzle with a very high number of pieces. And these are the first turns of its life. This puzzle is just almost big enough that I can hold it and turn it at the same time. But I'm thinking that this is gonna be another one just like 17 by 17 that you kinda gotta rest on the table to do turns, which isn't terrible. That's not the worst thing in the world. It's just the thing that exists. Okay, so there's checkerboard pattern. All of the colors are definitely distinguishable and they're a little bit less saturated than on the 17 by 17. 17 by 17 is definitely big, 
bright, juicy colors. And it's also kind of shiny. Like you can see that there is some shiny glare. The 15 by 15 is not so shiny. It has more of a matte finish and the colors aren't quite as bright and vibrant and saturated, but they are easy on the eyes and they contrast very well. So yeah, I can almost, okay. You guys can't see this, but my ring fingers are touching on the other side. And now they're not. I, from, I can just barely fit my hands around this and I know what you're thinking. Stop it. Let's test some corner cutting. I have a feeling it's not gonna be outstanding. Okay, yeah, that didn't really cut the corner. It just kind of sliced through it and got stuck. And I'm on my way back and oh no, uh-oh. Bad news blues, this isn't good. I got a pop. That does not bode well. Let me see if I can get the rest of the pieces back in alignment. Oh dear. Oh my, this is ugly. Good lord. This is a very poor first impression of corner cutting. Honestly, I gotta say, not very impressive. Like there's a part of me that wants to approach this with some grace and understanding that there are a lot of pieces in here and the fact that this puzzle turns it all is kind of a miracle. But there's another part of me that knows that this is a $300 product and these kind of things should not be happening to somebody who has $300 to spend on puzzles. $300 should buy you super duper top notch quality that is unmatched and doesn't do crazy stuff. Okay, I got the, I got it back aligned. Only three pieces came out. Let me see how easy it is to pop these bad boys back in. I'm anticipating not very easy. Uh oh. I really hope I don't break anything because these stems are very thin. That's pretty skinny and I really would hate to break it. I've had this puzzle for five minutes. Oh my goodness. I'm sweating, guys. I am sweaty. Okay, there we go. Got that piece in. Now coming in with the orange one. Maybe I should have just put these in together. That actually might have been a good idea. Okay, I think I got a good system. There we go. Uh-oh, this is a more inner one. Oh my lord. Okay, so this piece is a little bit more internal. I had a system where you kind of squeeze it between the edge and the center, but that's not gonna really work out here, is it? Also, okay, orientation, I'm guessing this way. In case you guys can't pick up on my frustration, I'm a little bit frustrated. Okay, is this gonna work? Please don't break. Okay, that's kind of not sitting straight, but I'm just gonna wiggle. There we go. All better. Haha, <laughs> so my friends just came over and they were here for like an hour and we played some Smash Bros. It was fun. Anyway, back to the video. It would be really nice to see Sheng Shao Pops not happening at this point in time. I feel like that's a really old problem that I would have hoped would have gotten resolved by now. It's a bummer that that happened. I hope it doesn't happen that much more. It just looks like I'm gonna have to be extra careful. So anyway, getting back into the turning of this, it does feel like maybe it's a little bit tight, but I don't think it is. I mean, it's loose. It's not super tight. It feels like it's loose. It just feels like the pieces are all coming together and it is also pretty heavy. Definitely one to set on the table while you solve. And apparently corner cutting is pretty bad. So I'm not even gonna try that again. I think something that's really cool about this 15 by 15 is that it looks so much like the 17 by 17 that it's like uh, its little brother. Definitely cool one to have in the collection to sit next to, to it, you know? I'm curious to see if after one solve, if this will loosen up at all. I hope it does, that would be really cool. Because if it was just a little bit looser, um, and I'm not talking about like tension looser because that would probably wind up with a lot of Sheng Shao lockups, but like after it's broken in um, and turns a little more smoothly, then I bet it would be really good. So after I do a solve, we'll see how that, uh, how that ends up turning out. Anyway, if you guys are interested in picking it up, which you probably aren't because it is pretty expensive, but if you're interested in picking up any other puzzles, be sure to do it from Speedcube Shop. Use the code BLUE at checkout. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!